Some people eat to live, but we, we live to eat and we love the Nepali cuisine. Their national dish, the dalbat, has been our favorite meal for years, but the Nepali cuisine has much more to offer. It's our third visit to Nepal and yet we're still surprised to find dishes we're not familiar with. Of course we're going to eat the dalbat several times in fact, but now we start with something completely new for breakfast. And of course, a food tour we have to start with. Breakfast, Nepali breakfast. So we have a black tea. We, have, we will start with malpuas. Malpuas, a deep fried pancake. Yeah. It should be sweet. Is it dry? Nutty flavor. Make greasy because they are deep fried. Some spices in there, not like a normal pancake we know. Uh, not really. It's a little sweet, but also savory. It's like cardamom, anise, star anise. Star anise in there. Good. Greasy. Nepali breakfast number two. Second item. Second item. Sal roti. It's softer than I thought. Yeah, I thought it was crispy. It's soft. Sal roti. Glutinous inside, made from rice flour. Yeah. Sweet. Mm. I like this one more. The deep fried, I think. Yeah. It's all deep fried. The other one was more aromatic, more spices, more herbs. It's more like roti. Perfect roadside yeah. snack. Not only for breakfast. But again. Greasy. Mm. It's like there are black nuts at the side. We ordered the black tea. That was a delicious breakfast. And since then we had several of these uh, Nepali breakfast salad rotis. It's a perfect roadside snack. We're not only having breakfast, but we had also a lot of lunches. The Nepali dalbat of Kana sat, we had a lot of them, but we eat so many that we have now a pumpkin soup and sourdough bread for lunch because it was too much. Yeah, if you eat these uh, Kana sets, second servings are coming, it's always too much. And you leave with much. a full tummy. Yeah. First restaurant we tried was here around the corner. Yeah. The KFC. KFC. Not Kentucky Fried Chicken, but Quality Food, food Cafe. Cafe. Yeah, was a very good one. It's a kind of a mid-range one. Yeah. We'll have a look now. The first restaurant where we're going to try the Nepali food, the dal bat or the veg kana set is KFC. It's a quality food cafe. Yeah, so the KFC. Sounds very good. It's not a simple restaurant. Yeah. It's not an upmarket restaurant. It's, it's in between. between. So let's see what we get. Our food has arrived, so let's dig in. It's a very beautiful plate, copper very plate and copper bowls. Very colorful. Smells delicious. First taste, first bite. Very good already. So what do we have? Big bowl of rice, uh, greens, veg curry, gravy, veg dry curry. The dal, of course, chutney, pakoda, papat, like kind of a fried potato. It looks good, looks good. This one costs 280 rupees. The dal is already really good. Dry the dry veg curry. A bit of a comfort food. It's like a pakoda potato wedge. Carrot and cabbage. And the greens. Get them typical from here for here. Slightly bitter taste. Very good, but 
Australian Chutney. My Gouda. Very hot. What a variety of foods and flavors. In Nepal, they love um, chili, uh, hot flavors. But then you have to mix with the with the dal and the rice. It's like a real journey in food here. Mm. So we spent more than a year of our lives here on the Indian subcontinent, Pakistan, India, Nepal, and we still make a beginner's mistake. Put the bowls outside your plate and you scoop the vegetables on your rice so you have more room for your rice. Have you seen this? That's why we love the Tana sets. They always come for a second round. It's included in the price. Two, I already said 280 rupees, Nepali rupees, for lots of food. And lots of delicious food. And we are lucky because one of our favorite staple foods are not potatoes, but rice. Because we lived in Asia before, so that's what we kept from there. It's time to rate this meal. Yeah. First, First uh, deliciousness. I'll give it an 8.5. I give it a 9. And the other one? Value? 280 Indian rupees, uh, Nepali rupees, of course. I would say 9. Me too, I give it 2 times 9. Good scores for our first one. The KFC we gave them a total score of 35 on 40 for value and deliciousness together. Yeah, it will be a strong contender I guess for the first place. Very good one. It was a very good one. Now we go for Dalbaat, fetch Kanasat number 2. Number 2, I remember the previous one was a mid-range one, 280. Here, only 180, little more than 1 euro. So let's check out what we get here. White rice, greens, potatoes, pickles, green, the, the and some greens and potatoes. Yeah, dal. 180. Let's dig in. No idea how they do this from 180. It's incredible. And we heard the kitchen, you can see the kitchen. It's freshly made. It's not from a ready made in the morning. I don't think they will go for a second serving here. Almost impossible. And he's gone. You have again a full plate. Another full plate. Unbelievable. Full. We don't have to eat today anymore. Yeah. Little bit of room for a black masala tea. Yeah. Even water is included. Warm water. This smells delicious. You know we are coffee lovers, but we never say no to black masala tea. If you're in Nepal, you have to try this. But first, giving the points. Deliciousness here, it's very delicious, very tasty. But I give it 8 points. And the value, of course, is 10. Because it's very cheap and you have such a variety in food. Delicious food. Yeah, the tea.
tea is delicious. But uh, we're talking about the deliciousness of the Kana set. I give it a 7.5 and the value, of course, a 10. You can't beat this value. No way. And the second one, they often say don't go cheap. This was a really good one, really good one. Hence the points, 35.5. First place for a Kantipur Tandoori restaurant. Kana set number three. A new one. New one. We had uh, the mid-range one, the cheap one, and this one is in Tamil in a the tourist area. Tourist orientated Tamil. restaurant. So it's more expensive. It's more expensive, of course. Do we get more? Do we get two servings? We'll find out inside this little alley. We are now in the Lima Garden, but this is a special place. It's not just a normal restaurant because in 2002, our first time we came to Nepal, this was the restaurant. We loved a lot. We went here for lunch, for dinner, so it's a long time ago. And the second time we came here was 2008, before coming now again. So it's the third time we come in the same restaurant to try their food, see if it's still that good. So the food has arrived. Yeah. Looks delicious. Yeah. Surpri surprisingly, maybe. It looked more beautiful in the beginning. Now we already started. So excited to start. Yeah. So we have a dal. We have a uh, veg curry, a little gobi curry, a little curry. We same have greens, greens. papa to rice, crisp. Yeah, and there's some art sushi. Food carving. Food carving, it's really nice. Mm. Tasty. Tasty dal. Yeah. And it has a lot of spices in it, so we're very good. Serving of dal and rice, so we won't leave hungry. Nom nom nom. Time for the points. First for deliciousness, I give it a seven. It's a good one, but I compare it with the other ones. It's just a seven, and value I give a seven too. Because they don't, they serve rice and dal, but not the other vegetables compared to the other restaurants. So that's why it's a seven. My score. First of all, deliciousness. Like Anne said, I think she gave a seven. So do I. Seven for deliciousness and value. Uh, only a six. Don't get me wrong. It's still very good, but it's more expensive. Less value for money. So six for value and a seven for deliciousness. And the Ghana set in the Lima Garden has 27 on 40. It's not an amazing score. Maybe not unexpected, I don't know. Maybe because it's in the tourist area. But it was tasty, yeah, don't get tasty. us wrong, but the value wasn't there. No. But the winner, the winner is... Tell us. Kantipur, <laughs> Tandoori <laughs> restaurant. Taste was good. Yeah. And the value, you can't beat you it. can't beat it. Amazing. So three restaurants, if you want to visit them, I'll link them below in the description. But you know, uh, Nepali cuisine is more than kana sets or dal bat. Uh, we went to two more restaurants. Uh, the first one was a special one, Hamro vegan restaurant, where you can find veganized Nepali dishes like choila, sadeku and chiabala. I hope I pronounced them right. And the other restaurant is for dry momos. But not only steamed momos, but different kind of them. Uh, traditional they are from Tibet, but it's getting also a Nepali dish. Yeah, it's adapted by the Nepali. Time for lunch. Everyone knows the Nepali dal bat. Uh, although, it's, I have to confess, the third time we come to Nepal, we have dishes today we've never heard of. Like the choila, uh, sakoti sadeko, and... Shiabale. Shiabale. is kind of like a kind of dumpling, I think. And three dishes with uh, seitan. Mm -hmm. Been a long time since we had seitan. First, I will try the choila. Normally, it's with meat, it's a spiced grilled meat, but our meat is seitan. Mm. 
crunchy, chili, very good bite. I love the crispiness of the pieces. They look good too. Quickly try the choila before Anne eats it all. Original version, it's made from dried buffalo. Like Anne said, it's very crispy. Really good. A bit of a lemongrass taste. Next one is the Sakati Sadeko, also made from oh, Sukuti Sadeko. The owner is correcting me. It's like beef jerky. This one's more chewy, but again, spice. So rich in flavor. Crispy, chewy. A little bit spicy. Again, give me a whole plate and I finish it. Now I will try the sat sakuti. Sakuti sadeko. Sakuti sadeko. But for me, when I think of jerky, I'm always afraid to eat it. So let's try. It's totally different than the previous dish. It's more chewy. It's good. It's like you taste like it's roasted or a bit smoked. A lot of taste and very good vibe. But with a lot of spices and it's really tasty. And we ordered a third dish, seitan again, seitan shiabali. It comes with a dipping sauce made of uh, tomatoes, chilies, different spices. This is also a typical street food people eat here. Very crispy skin. Rich flavor of the seitan. It's minced seitan this one, so you have less of a bite. But the tangy sauce, mm, so good. Take a second piece already. Now it's for me to taste the seitan shiabali, a meat pie. I like the crunchy outside, um, pastry, there are carrots inside, it's, I say that it's also very good spice. And this one, the sauce. <coughs> Again, very good, very tasty. It's a good combination to have all those three different Nepali dishes together with some rice. We are now in Patan, still. Hamu vegan restaurant, we had a great uh, lunch and now we finish with tea and the masa tea and because after we go to the Durban Square for this one you have to see our other vlog about Patan and Bhaktapur Let's try it Masala chai uh, That's a, the tea they drink on the streets so with cow's milk This one is with soy milk but Soy milk is a bit too dominant. Very fragrant, of course, but still, yeah, soy milk is a bit too dominant. For our last lunch, we've come to this uh, rooftop restaurant where they claim to have 17 varieties of momo. That's a lot. That's a lot. We're not going to try them all. We've ordered three varieties, a steamed one, the Kote is half steamed oh, and then... Spicy Nepali sauce. Yeah, Yaniki with the spicy Nepali sauce. We love momos, so it's a perfect lunch to end this epic food tour. First momos arrived. Yeah. Well, actually all our momos arrived. The Kote one, half steamed, half fried. The steamed one. And also the Janiko, but we had to send them back because it was covered in cheese. cheese yeah. And so it's not on the menu, there was no, cheese on it. Not mentioned on the menu. So we start with this one. Two plates of 10 momos, yeah. another third plate is coming. First the steamed one. That's the most popular one, the steamed one. Steamed or fried. 
good one. Mm -hmm. This is fresh. Yeah. Greens inside, like cabbage. So spices. Yeah, I think they use. Uh, ye yema. Yema. Yep. Yeah. The Tibetan spice. Very good this one. Very tasty. Uh, fun fact. Before we always had fried ones, 20, 25 years ago, fried ones. We once were in Budanat and they gave us the steamed ones. And we were so disappointed. So disappointed to have these ones. We ate that plate and mm. since then, we never ordered fried ones again. Always oh. steamed ones. This one is 50-50, fried on one side, steamed, probably with the same filling, veg filling. Tastes the same or different? Filling is the same. Slightly different taste because one side mm. is fried. Yep. I like the mixed one. The yeah. half fried is it's different. And we ordered sadeko momos, veg, uh, spicy ones. Yeah, they love spicy food and Nepali too. They love spicy food. Too. Next plate of momos has arrived. We finished already the yeah. other one, so. It's a deco momo? Yes. Marinated and chat pata masala. Yes, yes. That's yes, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them, they don't like the spices. No. Ah, we love spices. We love spices. And yeah. it looks spicy already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they look great. Try it first. Special. Never had these ones. Careful, spicy. With carrots on top, uh, onion. onion, cilantro, green chilies. The inside, the filling, same. Mm -hmm. Green cabbage like things. It's only. Um, you have to eat the top with it. To yeah. yeah. It. Not so spicy. I try the second one. Maybe. Mm. I think you have to combine it. So you have the vegetables with the momos. Take some chilies with it. So one biter, here we go. Wish me luck. Mm. Not really spicy. But he likes spicy. Do you think it's spicy? It's very fragrant. It's, it's fragrant a little. It's, it's tasty. It's a yeah. bit. Uh, I won't, won't call it spicy. Yeah, but not really spicy, right? But I won't eat the chilies, so when you eat chilies, they are more spicy. Yeah, but they're a bit marinated. I'll take another one. And on this note, we're going to end this vlog. Yes. I had a lot of food. We so love to make this vlog, so I have hope to recover a week after this one. I hope you like this too. So if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and leave a comment. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. So take care. Cheers. See you next week. Bye.